so in the last video i posted regarding this goodwill message or should i say defense video that a, a brown guy i don't know if that guy is india i don't think he's indian he's not indian but if you look at him he has that looks so he came on tiktok to defend black women and he also shared you know, a little bit of his background and why he's taking the stand he's taking but the black women did not receive the message in a good in a good light they saw it in another light so some of some some of the women are you know took to tiktok to share their opinion and for those of you that have not seen the part of that video where the guy was you know given the goodwill message i will encourage you to watch the video so that all these whole videos will make sense this is actually looking let me just say this is like the part three of the video so go back watch that one I'll, I'll try and put the links of the other two videos so that you guys will you know will have a have have a hang of the whole discourse but let me allow you guys to hear what the ladies some of the ladies are sharing the way they received it and why they received it the way they received it and my mom sat us down she said if you're ever in trouble if you're ever in trouble out there in the real world look for a black woman my mom said this my mom was raised in this country from the age of six the uk she said look for a black woman she said anywhere in the world a black woman will help you so first i want to start this off by saying this is no hate whatsoever to the original creator definitely go and watch his full video it was very sweet very heartfelt i'm glad that that has been his experience in life however as i was watching his video i could not help but think that this is kind of part of the problem people know that they can go to black women and black women more than likely will be there black women more than likely will help them especially if it's a child black women will lift you up they will feed you they will give you kind words of motivation and inspiration and it's beautiful and honestly it's one of my absolute favorite things about black women i just think at this point black women are wondering who is that for us where can we get that you know you can come to us for help but we feel like a lot of the times we have no one i even saw this comment down in the comment section and i was like something about this does not sit right with me so my question to these people that are teaching their children to seek help from black women and they themselves they learned as children to seek help from black women if you see a black woman in trouble are you helping her would you even think to help her or would you just assume that she would go to another black woman for help and again this is not directed at the creator of the video I stitched I don't know this man this is literally the first time I ever saw him it's just these are the thoughts that went through my mind while I was watching his video again I don't see anything wrong with asking us for help because i think to a certain extent we enjoy being helpful being of service being there for people we just want to know who is there for us genuinely and truly they won't turn our backs on us when they get in the room with certain other demographics they won't turn their backs on us when it's time to get a check cut who really has our backs i think that's really kind of the question what's wild to me is thinking that black women haven't always been the ones that are there for you like Black women have come through for me every single time. Whenever I need something, who do I call? A black woman. All of my friends are black women. All of the family that I count on are black women. Now, I do count on my brother, but he done did some work. Other than that, I am calling on a black woman every single time. So for somebody to say that their black audience isn't supporting them or isn't doing this or doing that, that's wild to me. Because baby, when I was being attacked in these internet streets, who came to my rescue? Black women. When I needed support, who came to my rescue? Black women. When I needed to process all the threats that I was receiving, who did I go to? My black therapist, an older black woman. Who was like, baby, I don't know what that is, but if you're going to be on the internet, you're going to be on the internet. If you're not, just get off of it. You can't choose how people are going to respond to you. They're going to do whatever they want to do. You just keep putting your stuff out there. So whenever I need something, it has always come from a black woman. My mama has always come through for me, and she is a black woman. I don't understand this conversation about how white folks are the ones pushing you to be greater 
the same folks who thought you wasn't actually a human, like you was three fifths of it. Mm -mm. Couldn't be me, baby. My mother told me and my siblings when we were young, when we were young kids, before we, like, I remember it was when my older brother started secondary school. It was a big deal, my older brother going off to the big boy school. And my mum sat us down. She said, if you're ever in trouble, if you're ever in trouble out there in the real world, look for a black woman. My mum said this. My mum was raised in this country from the age of six, the UK. She said, look for a black woman. She said, anywhere in the world, a black woman will help you. She was never wrong. She was never wrong. But, like... It's incredible that my mother said that, and I don't know what my mum went through. But I, I remember seeing photos of my mum in school when she was in high school and stuff, and like she had loads of uh, black friends and stuff, and they were all black women. Because um, my mum wasn't a pick me, she only had female friends. And um, she, um, so she obviously felt some protection. And uh, growing up for me, I noticed in my school, it was a very predominantly white school, the black teachers looked out for me. I had a black Jamaican teacher called Mrs. Forrester. She looked out for me. But even outside of school, when I started growing out my hair, it was a black woman that taught me how to look after my curls, what products to use. It was the... Pretty black women. If you are trying to get validation from the people who are oppressing you, you are wasting your time. Every day on TikTok, black women are called aggressive, angry, bitter, strong, masculine. And now... I have nothing against this content creator, but I think it's very, uh, it's, it's ironic that when it's convenient for you, you are now telling that if your child is in danger, you have to look for a black woman. And this, this content creator is not the first who say that on TikTok. I have even heard white women saying the same that, oh, if my child is in danger, he or she has to seek and look for a black woman. I'm trying to understand why would you want your child to get protected or to receive any type of help from a black woman knowing that she is aggressive she's angry she's bitter she is masculine white women are supposed to be soft feminine and you know they have all the characteristic of a the perfect the ideal women the real question is why why you rather get protection from a black woman who is always angry who is, who is always aggressive instead of having a white woman white women are full of love why would you seek protection from a black woman who is aggressive and not from a white woman who is supposed to be loving and caring and nurturing? I'm intrigued. Black women, hear me and hear me good. I need us to do the work to heal because the negativity that we live and breathe on an everyday basis is not going to get us far. Like we have become a group of women who are so negative and so mean and vindictive that it is stopping us from growing. Do not be afraid to do the work because hurt people hurt people. And a lot of us are hurt. And our mission in life is to hurt other people and embarrass people and to make them feel like they are nothing. And it's not going to work. If you want to do better, if you want to receive better in your life, you have to fix that. The negative mindset is in the way for a lot of us. So sis, I'm telling you, seek therapy. Do the work to heal. So that way you can open your heart to feel love and to give love and just be a better person to receive good things in your life. Ah, I'm so happy 
that last lady said what she said i don't think i would have been able to you know word it the way she worded it being the fact that she she's in you know she's in close proximity of where it's all going down and i know for true it's time to heal i understand that there's been a lot of trauma a lot of you know bringing down a lot of backhanded co comments especially from the black men and you know to black women but i don't think it will do anybody any good living in that negativity you know reacting from the place of pain constantly you know projecting that viewing everybody's comments in that eye of pain and trauma i don't know if you guys are getting my point you know it's as if the black women are not reacting so much so that they're beginning to you know allow that definition that they've given them they've become their personnel because the level with which they receive this supposedly goodwill from this guy they received it in a negative manner like it's so alarming if i do say so myself like when i saw that video like to god who made me guys when i saw that video from that guy i picked it and said oh finally i love the angle this guy is coming from that's why i even reacted to it go and check when i posted i didn't even add anybody's video i didn't even know they were receiving it in a bad light up until today that i said i'm doing this video at the day of the recording the video only for me to see the like negative comments the comments are even so more wild than the videos you are seeing do you get like it's alarming the negativity is so much it's as if they've some of these women are allowing themselves to be wrapped up in that negativity and the thing about negativity that's the way you now begin to view the world and you be it becomes the eye through which you see people, the ear through which you hear. And it begins to define your perception about people and the world in, in general. That is, not a, that is not a place somebody should be. I'm not saying it's easy to, you know, to, to heal, to overcome whatever my, might have been said about you. I'm not saying it's easy, but I think it can be done when you intentionally take yourself away from that don't accept that don't become that angry black woman do you get because that's a, that's a picture we outside america see angry black woman and you know only for us to not come and be seeing videos from you guys and you are projecting that also by yourself i don't know if you guys get my point there's a whole there's a lot of love to go around but let me know your thoughts in the comment section when you saw the video from that guy in what light did you receive it what light did you receive it did it come across you like the guy was you know making it from a place of you know downgrade like trying to downgrade the black woman let me know your thoughts are in the comment section please don't forget to like and subscribe take care of yourselves guys bye